What is going on everybody, Mr. Uzi here. And in the past few months, Facebook has forced its users to use their standalone messaging app, and many people became very uncomfortable since the app itself required so much access to one's device. On iOS, permissions haven't necessarily been a problem, but on Android, app permissions are accepted in full at the time of downloading. However, with the feature hidden inside of Android versions 4.3 and higher called App Ops, you are able to see which apps are using what permissions, when they last accessed them, and can allow and deny certain permissions. This feature was disabled by Google in KitKat 4.4.2, but with a little bit of effort, it can be re-enabled. Just keep in mind that disabling access to something like the camera will no longer allow the app to take pictures or video. First things first, make sure you have a rooted device running Android 4.3 or higher. If you don't already have one and are willing to do so, I will link to one of my previous videos where I go over that process in more detail. Next up, head into security settings and make sure to enable install apps from unknown sources. You will need this in order to download and install some APKs. After this, you will want to head on over to this link. I will also put it in the description below. You will want to scroll down and find the download option for the exposed installer. This is what will enable you to bring back the AppOps functionality. After it is downloaded, press install and wait for it to finish. Once installed, open up the app and head on over to Framework, and from there press install slash update. This installs the proper files for Exposed to work, and it will require you to reboot your phone. After your phone reboots, head back into Exposed and this time press download. Press the magnifying glass up at the top and type in App Ops. It should be the first result. Swipe over to the download page and from there select the most recent and stable version to download. Once downloaded, it will prompt you to install and after it finishes, it will alert you in the notifications that the module has not been activated. Pressing that will bring you to the module section and exposed and you will need to reboot your phone once more. When your phone starts back up, app ops should appear in your app drawer and from there you can find out which apps are accessing what. So if I wanted to disable every permission in Facebook Messenger, or any other app for that matter, I could. Just remember that when doing so, this will also make certain aspects of the app unusable. If you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button and share it with somebody who may want to take more control over the apps they use on their phone. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.